a vlog video. We'll see how this goes. Um, I have my guest friend Laura here with us. And she requested to see how to make dumplings, so we're going to make Korean dumplings. Um, so we went a little grocery haul, and I'll let you know what we got. I don't really, I'm kind of going to go with the flow. Um, so I went to the store, and there was vegan kimchi there. So we're going to use vegan kimchi, and we have obviously our... Uh, Dumpling wrappers. Make sure you read the ingredients. It has egg free, no eggs in it. Um, and we're going to put tofu and a bunch of veggies and then we'll cook them up. So, and for the veggies, we're going to put bean sprouts. We're going to put a little bit of green onion, um, some carrots, and saute it to get it nice and soft. Um, and you want to make sure you're seasoning in between because that's the most important part. You want to season as for every step and every time you put the vegetable in. Um, and then if you're getting obviously kimchi too, it's kimchi flavored with salt and things like that. So you wanna make sure that uh, you're not seasoning it too much so it's not too salty. Okay, so um, we we're going to, we're going to cut or I guess, cut them in match sticks, the carrots. So I'm gonna have Laura carefully. We did some already, we're gonna have Laura do some more. We had how many carrots? Like four? Four. About four big ones, and then we're not gonna use the smaller pieces because, you know, they're dangerous. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll do that. But we have some ready here. <laughs> Maybe we'll do like random guest cooking days where <sighs> someone wants to learn how to do something and they just magically show up in my kitchen. <laughs> No. Okay, so we have our mashed sticks. Um, we have some bean sprouts that we've already kind of cooked down a little bit. Let's see if I can see that. Um, you want to get it nice and soft because they do not fit into the little dumping pockets. And then, so first thing, you want to use extra firm tofu, and you want we're using a whole pack. Um, and we want to drain all the liquid out because you want it to firm and crumbly. So you want nice uh, tofu crumbles, right? And so what we did was we wrapped around, if you don't have a tofu press, you can wrap around a paper towel and put something heavy on it for a couple, couple minutes, um, which we've done already. I'm going to have Laura crumble it. So you just literally just crumble, crumble, crumble. Nice thick pieces are good too. Don't worry, I wash my hands. <laughs> We're eating now. <laughs> Perfecto! Look at all of that. Call a nice and crumbled tofu. Put that there. And then I have three, about three stalks of Green onions should be good. We'll just cut them in small round pieces. Very, very thin. And again, they're gonna cook down too, so. The onions are translucent, um, and then that's about three minutes you want to saute. We're going to cool that a little bit because we're going to get a bowl and mix half of the tofu mixture, the crumbles, um, and half we're going to use with the kimchi. I'm saying kimchi like I'm not Korean. Kimchi. <laughs> okay, let's do half the mixture. I'm do, let's put half of that, and then we're going to do... Most important, you want to make sure that you're seasoning after every vegetable that you put in. So salt, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper um, to your liking. And then let's put the sauteed vegetables in there. Oh my god, this is so good. 
smell so good. Too. So good. You can't smell it though. Too bad. Did you wish sometimes you could just see a video and you're like, smell it? Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smellometer. Okay. So we're just going to let's see if you can see that. Just mix that a little bit. Alrighty then. So we have our first one. Let's prep our second one with the kimchi. We want maybe a good handful is good. I just tried this, so it's Sarah approved. So good. Okay. Oh my god, my, mom, my mouth is watering, just like taking this out of the Okay, roughly chop the kimchi. Um, if you want bigger pieces, fine, but I prefer just biting into little pieces. Mm, that's good. We should probably do more, I know. We need more kimchi. <laughs> All of the kimchi. Laura said we need more kimchi, so let's chop some more. Okay. <laughs> So I did buy a handful, but you know, let's see. Um, it's also good if you want to put some of the kimchi juice in there, just for extra flavor. Okay, so then let's just give that a quick mix. Um, this should be fine because the kimchi usually when you buy them in the stores, obviously they're seasoned with salt and all the goodness. And spicy chili peppers. Our dumpling wrappers, make sure you read the ingredients that doesn't have any eggs. So first thing, when my grandma used to tell me you always prep, me, anyone, anytime you cook you want to prep. So you want to prep maybe putting them, on, putting them on a sheet pan after we're done. So put that there. Let's get, which one should we make first? The veggies? You reached for the kimchi. I know, we took the kimchi. Yeah, I'll do the veggies first. I'll do veggies. This is the fun part. Get all your friends and family to do this, just like wrap, wrapping the uh, dumplings together. There's no real rule to do to um, wrapping it and putting closing it together. Um, there are different styles of how to do it. But the traditional style is just the fold with the pinch on the end. But yeah, they come soft like this. You just want to get a little bowl of water to help seal the edges. And you don't want to put in too much because they might pop, they get, uh, it might get too fat and pop out when you do cook them. So just, let's see. If you want to use a small spoon and just get everything in there. That might be a little bit too much too, so crumble all the tofu. Okay. Let's see how that one looks. We wanna do maybe one a teaspoon spoon in there. They're so cute. Because it's yeah, these are really small, the wrappers. So you wanna put in a little bit in there. Not too much. If they don't fit, you can always cut the pieces smaller. And then use a little bit of the water to get the edges. Don't soak them too much because you don't want the wrapper to tear. And then to close them, you just fold it in half like that. Make sure all of the um, filling is inside. And you just want to go around and pinch the ends together to seal them tightly. You can make a design if you're a professional, like old school OG like my aunt. You can make a little indent like this. And you should have a dumpling like that. And just place them here. Here we go. How are you doing? Can you see? Mine's not filled enough. Oh yeah. That's a little well, one. That's a little one. <laughs> That's a little one. You can fill a little bit more. Maybe. Oh, that wasn't my first try, guys, ever. 
<laughs> Your first dumpling ever. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. I like them nice and fat and full and fluffy. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of these and then start on our kimchi ones and we'll start to cook them. Fast forward, we made all the dumplings. The side is the vegetable and the kimchi ones obviously is a little bit of the red pink hue to it. Um, and so you can either pop this in the freezer to hold and then use them for next time or whenever you wanna enjoy them or serve it right away. We're just gonna fry a little bit, high heat and put a little, uh, put some oil in there. And we just wanna make sure they're nice and crispy. Um, we wanna put a lot of oil to the, where it gets all of the edges, so it gets fried in there. So let's do that. Okay, so you wanna make sure the pan is nice and piping hot. Um, uh, Let's try to do very crispy on one side and then boil the other. Ooh, it's getting hot. It's getting hot, huh? Like a spatula or something? Um, let's put some kimchi ones in there. Just enough where you can see the sides kind of crisping up. You don't want to burn them, burn them too much. Lightly golden brown. Lightly golden brown. <laughs> cook these and fry them and um, nice and crispy like that. Looks yummy. Is it? Yes. Look at that. Yum. Okay. So we're just going to let that hang out for a little bit more and we're going to do the dipping sauce next. Okay. Um, so I like to use, you can use regular soy sauce, but I like to use tamari. A little bit of that in a bowl. I love me my sauce, so put a lot of that in there. That looks like about. And then you can use either rice wine vinegar, rice vinegar, or apple cider vinegar. Which one should we use today? You want it very tangy. And then you have to put in, you can get the Korean or Asian, any Asian market, it's the red pepper, red pepper chili powder. Mm. Um, just put like maybe a teaspoon in there. That's what goes in mostly in the kimchi. Mm. And then let's just try. So just like that, if you dip, that's your dipping sauce. And I think that's it. Now it's time to eat. Okay, so this is a kimchi one we fried. You wanna eat the kimchi one? Sure. Okay, this is the vegetable one. Let's go over here. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> that sauce. That's good. Mm. Oh. I'm double dipping. Oh my god, that sauce <laughs> though. Oh my god, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you like a dumpling making pro now? Mm-hmm. Yeah! It is so greasy. Alright, well that's it for our first video today. Woo! We're gonna be eating, making, eating, frying, eating. Thank you, Laura, for Thank being our guest you. today. Thank you for teaching me. <laughs> now she's a dumpling making pro. <laughs> but um, that's it. All right, bye. So we're gonna now make the dipping sauce. These little nuggets. And on a shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Putting them on a sheet. So, which one should we do first? Right. Okay.
Okay, that's gonna be enough before we just cut all the fingers off. Don't worry about the hands. Like a fry. I can just eat that with rice. Yeah, that's good. It's like a stir fry. These are the final product. Can you see it? Yum. Okay, so now we're going to make the dipping sauce. <gasps> oh no! We lost it. Do that again. I'm still doing that. 